Okay, so welcome back to Alpha Web Design. In this video, I want to talk about theme app extensions and why it's very useful for you to use them and why Shopify actually requires you to use uh, theme app extensions if you want to get your app installed and if your app uses script tags. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing that I want to show you is this email that I got from uh, Shopify that I received once I submitted my app to their app store. And once you submit an app, you your app will get reviewed and then um, you will get this email from them with all of those steps that you have to improve within your app. So it's a very long list that I got here and um, I will show the app to you just in a second but i want to point your attention to this point right here um where they say my app is currently using script tag api and that i will have to update my app to theme app extensions um, to ensure compatibility with the online store 2.0 themes and um, so this means that if your app uses script tags, then if your app only uses script tags, then your app will not get submitted, right? It will not get accepted. So you will have to use those theme app extensions. And uh, so this means that it's a pretty big deal and you have to use it, but it's really not quite um, easy to install theme app extensions. I definitely had a hard time using them. And, but I just wanna give you an overview of what they are, um, how they how they work a little bit. And yeah, so that's the purpose. That's the purpose of this video. All right, so let me just go over here. That is the app that I tried to submit, which is very, very easy. It's just, you know, it's just an app that would animate uh, the buy it now button. And, uh, you know, you kind of have those different animations here. So really very, very basic. All right. You can have that heartbeat, whatever you can have it. You could have it in an interval or you could, uh, animate it when it's hovering. All right, so let me just put it to shake horizontal. Let me save my changes. And if I go over here to my product detail page, you can see that it's just, you know, it's just animating. And the way this works is if I go to the developer tools, if I go to network and reload the page, then you will see all of my scripts Um, uh, filter out the scripts and should be here somewhere. Yeah. So that is my, uh, char script file that just, what it does is just, it's looking for this, uh, app button and then applying that animation in an interval. So really nothing, nothing fancy at all. And, uh, yeah, you can see it here and that's it. So. I'm using the W theme right here. And um, the problem with those script tags, I will show them to you right now, because if I go to the home page, and I'm also looking for my scripts right here, I can see that the animate JS is still loading, even though I'm on the home page. But the only thing that my animate JS is actually doing is it's looking for this um, buy it now button and that's that's it. So it doesn't do anything else. It's just looking for that buy it now button, trying to animate it. And um, obviously we don't have a buy it now button here on the home page. We don't have a button here on the catalog either. We just have a buy it now button right here on the product detail page, right? So there is really no need for us to load this, uh, this JavaScript file here on the home page if we don't use it at anyways. So that's just a problem where we, um, we lose performance. And if you take a look at the size of this, uh, animate JS right here, you can see that it has a size of almost 19 kilobytes, which is quite a lot. And 
of course it's not that big as that one down here but you can see that it's on the larger side and considering the fact that you don't even need to load it on on your page so i mean that's wasted space and that's a uh, wasted uh, load time and that's a waste of performance because if a merchant would install your app and they would see okay if i install this app that will make the performance of my website worse then there is no point in installing your app right so that is the um the bad side of those uh javascript files loaded to the storefront with the script tag and that is the place where theme app extensions come into play right now let me just give you an uh overview of what theme app extensions look like so just for your information, if you want to uh, use a theme app extensions, you have to make sure that um, the merchant is using a um, theme with uh, the version 2.0. So in this example here, I used the W theme, which was an older theme, right? And um, in order to use theme app extensions, I will have, have to use the Dawn theme and I will have to activate that okay all right so here we are again um what i did i just reinstalled my app i changed um the theme on my store from the debut theme to the dawn theme which um is a uh, theme 2.0 which um also supports app blocks and i have installed it and now i'm here on the pdp as you can see my button here is still animating as it should and if i go here to the network then i should see that my animate.js is still loading and everything is working fine but the difference is now that if i go to home and i take a look at my animate.js here i won't find it so that is because the theme app extension makes sure that the script is only loaded on that page where you need it right so and that will boost the uh, performance of your merchant store immensely because there is no js files loaded for no reason you just load the two js files when you need them all right, now let me just quickly show you how um, a theme app extensions are supposed to work. So if you go here uh, to your store, if you go to themes and then customize that theme, then you want to navigate to that page where your uh, theme app extensions or your app block is supposed to live. So in my case, that would be on the product detail page. And um, now I'm on that detail page. You can see here that my button is still animating and that is because I added an app block here. If I go here to add app block, I could have um, chosen ATC animation and I did that already. So that added my app block here. And now if I go here, I can also see the name of my app extension name and um, that app name that I am uh, where that theme app extensions extension is coming from right and now I could just go here and click on not visible so that would disable um, this app block and you can see that the animation has stopped so this means that um, this JavaScript file is no longer loading on this page right and that is the advantage that you have with theme app extensions over uh, script tags which are just running all of the time they don't they don't care about anything they're just there all the time right and then you can just save it and if i would go over to my store right here go to catalog go to the pdp then i can see that my button is not animating anymore if I'm looking for my JavaScript file, I wouldn't find it anymore, right? You cannot see that animate JS anymore. So yeah, that is the reason behind theme app extensions.
and in the next step I will just uh, go ahead and build an example app where we will install a theme app extension and just make it work a little bit just as an example for the sake of this video. Hey, thank you for watching this video about theme app extensions. If you liked it, then please leave a like and subscribe and uh, click this video somewhere around here. I linked it. Uh, you should see it right now. And um, that will take you to the next video. So thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye bye.